everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video is a thriller thursday video if you're new to my channel and you don't know what a thriller thursday is it's every well usually not every thursday but every single time i finish like two three or four thriller books because i do read a lot of thrillers i come out with a video just kind of telling you guys the best ones that i've loved and so sometimes i might be reading a lot of thrillers but you might not see a thriller thursday video in a couple weeks because i don't usually put thrillers on here that are three stars or below it's usually a four or a five star rating because you know why do I want to share books that I didn't enjoy so today we're going to talk about three different thrillers one of them is a short story and I am really excited to get into today's video because they were some really great ones If you are not following me yet, I do have my Goodreads link down below as well as my bookstagram and I think a couple other things. I have a book club on Facebook, which is really fun. We do a bunch of different challenges right now. We're doing Bookopoly and so you get to do all those things with me and we have monthly discussions. If that's your type of thing, you get to pick and choose. We you know, do a bunch of different genres. So if you're interested in that, definitely check all the links down below. Let's just go ahead and get right into this video. So the first book we're going to start out with is the short story and this is the grown-up but this is the first short story that I've ever read this book was only about 64 pages so you can easily read it and you know about an hour's worth it was amazing I loved it because it's also labeled it's like a thriller slash horror slash paranormal story Unfortunately, I can't really tell you much about the plot since the book is so short. I don't want to give away anything at all. But if you don't like ambiguous endings, if you don't like open-ended endings or anything like that, then you probably wouldn't enjoy this book as much as I did because you get to the ending and you really don't know what's real is real or what's not is not. So I love books like that and I really, really enjoyed this book so much because number one, it was an easy read. I couldn't believe how much spooky vibes could be in it from it being a very short book and I couldn't even believe that it was just you know a really good thriller with a couple twists that you know was throwing you back and forth in such a short you know like section of a book it's it's actually pretty crazy and it makes me think that um, some of those thriller books that are a lot longer that there probably are definitely parts that they could cut down on if this was so good being 64 pages the next book that I'm going to talk about is The Lost by Natasha Preston this is actually a YA thriller and I was shocked that I loved it so much because YA thrillers are not something that I usually gravitate towards because they just don't have enough depth and darkness for me. I know I'm crazy and weird, but this one actually was really good. I gave it five stars and absolutely loved it. I read it in one afternoon. I actually read it for the reading rush. And so if you're interested in seeing that vlog, you can check that out as well. This book is about some lost teenagers who people actually think are runaways so no one's really looking into the situation these other two high school girls kind of get um, I guess if you want to say abducted by these two other guys because these guys are taking them to this building to hang out and it turns out that instead they get locked in there with these other teenagers that have gone missing and within these walls of this building are all of these games and so it is literally a torture chamber and that's all you really need to know in order to read this book i had so much anxiety reading about these like torture rooms that they had to endure because they actually told you like what each torture room was about and there were definitely a scenes of the teenagers having to go through these torture rooms and so i know that sounds like really dark and you shouldn't like that kind of stuff but i loved it i thought it really enhanced the story if it didn't have those dark aspects i know that the story would definitely fall into a normal YA thriller. It also does have kind of an open-ended ending. So again, if you don't really like those, you might not like this book as much. You might be upset about the ending, but I thought it was a great way to end this book. I really, really enjoyed it. And I thought that the writing was just super easy to read. It was easy to comprehend because of it being a YA thriller. Whereas a lot of times with adult thrillers, you know, you have to take your time reading them and really focusing on all the details. Whereas with this one, it was kind of just a really fast sprint thriller read, you know, like your heart is pumping and you're just like, 
like, I am reading this whole book today because I have to find out what is going on. The next book I'm going to talk about is The First Mistake by Sandy Jones. And this is actually my second Sandy Jones novel. I also talked about her first novel, The Other Woman, in a different Thriller Thursday video. So I will link that down below so you can check it out. And I gave her first novel five stars. And this one was like a 4.5. It was really hard for me to kind of figure out the rating because I really did enjoy this book. It is a domestic thriller about two women and how they're best friends. And the one woman who is our narrator, um, her first husband died about 10 years prior and she remarried. She does think that her new husband is cheating on her. And then her best friend, like she's been telling her best friend like about her cheating husband and her best friend had a husband that also cheated on her. And so, you know, you just see these like friendships. It's, you know, all the domestic thrillerish stuff where it's like, you don't know who to trust. People are lying. You don't know who's sleeping with who. I always love those types of things. Now, the only thing is that the reason I didn't give it five stars is because the ending, I guess, just wasn't what I expected. Like, it's not a bad ending, but I have seen it before in other thrillers. And so I was hoping that that wasn't the ending that it was going to be. And so I thought I was going to be just a little bit more of a shock than it actually was. And so that's the only reason why I dropped it down like half a star. Otherwise, I enjoyed the whole story for me. There were no boring parts. I was very intrigued by the by every single page. I just loved the detail that Sandy Jones goes into with her novels and makes you kind of feel like you're just like an outsider looking in to these people's lives. There were definitely some red herrings in there and I didn't exactly know who to trust at all times, but it was just a really, really good book. Since this was my second novel written by Sandy Jones and I really enjoyed it. I definitely think that Sandy is going to be one of my like auto buy authors or, you know, just someone that I really, really look forward to her next novels all the time. So I'm really, really excited to see what she comes out with in 2020. I'm not exactly sure if she's coming out with anything, but I'm going to be on the lookout because I just really enjoy her stories and her writing style and the thrillers that she puts out. That is all for this Thriller Thursday video. If you really enjoy these videos, definitely make sure that you give my video a big thumbs up because it really supports me and it makes me see that I, you know, you guys really enjoy these and I should continue making more of them. Like always, leave me a comment down below telling me if you liked any of these thrillers or if you even have any thriller recommendations. I love getting recommendations from people. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in another video. Bye everyone.